Hello everyone! Today, I want to share to you about the Bajo's philosophy, spirituality, rituals and festive events, language, literature, arts and crafts, livelihood and technology, and customary laws. Bajau are found in village of southern Philippines. Traditionally, Bajau had no permanent dwellings and lived on their houseboats throughout the year. Bajau was displaced by wars and the death of their traditional fishing culture. Their homeland has been taken away from them and their culture is gradually slipping away. Among themselves, they are known as Sama Laos or Sea Sama and are found living on houseboats where they make their livelihood solely on the sea as expert fishermen, deep sea divers, and navigators. First, let's talk about the Bajau's philosophy. Bajau are known as eyesore of the society, and it is because some Bajau prefer to stay on the street to beg and ask for help, especially to those who do not go to school, which is due to poverty. Also, it is a part of their culture as a related reason for going back in the street despite the decent life which the government has planned in their newly built homes. Since they used to job related to water, they had difficult adjusting their lifestyle and works when they transferred in land. Bajau's Spirituality Religious Beliefs of Bajau the Bajau are Sunni Muslims of the Shafi school, claims to religious piety and learning are an important source of individual prestige, and persons considered descendants of the Prophet Salib are shown special difference. Perceived difference in degrees of Islamic practice are also associated with the relative status of different Bajau groups. People from a variety of spiritual and religious backgrounds share that spirituality is an essential element of being human that can bring beauty to our lives and animate us in powerful ways. Through personal stories and survey data, the study further reveals how the spiritual element of our nature informs our understanding of ourselves and each other and inspires us to take action on our communities. Next is, let's talk about rituals and festive events of Bajau. One of the practice of Bajau is called thanks, where they give offering to the Ombu de Laut, the god of the sea, whenever a particular large catch is brought. Language of Bajau Language is somewhat a necessity of mankind. It serves as identification of people on where they belong to. It is a system of conventional spoken, manual or written symbols by means of which human beings. As members of social group and participants in its culture express themselves. Of the more than a hundred languages is being spoken by the different ethnolinguistic groups of dwellers. In the more than 7,100 islands comprising the Philippines, I focus and pay for attention to the Bajau's language because of curiosity. Sinama is the language of Bajau that is being used on their own way of communication. The Sinama has seven classifications based on their mutual intelligibility. The seven Sinama languages are Northern Sinama, Central Sinama, Southern Sinama, Sinama Pangutaran, Mapun Bajau West of Coast Sabah and Bajau, Indonesia. These classifications are rarely recognized by Sama themselves, who instead classify their Sinama by the village or island it originates from. Bajau or Sea Gypsies have strange beliefs. Beliefs indigenous Bajau recognition of their master and having wisdom is the most beautiful way to having a good life. They also believe that where the spirits of the dead are kept in a grave, in every period of Saban, the soul is allowed their master to come back to our world. 
They also believe that the dead can communicate with the living through the ritual ceremonies of celebration, worship, and exorcism. As a welcome, people were cleaning graves and conduct prayers, a ritual allegedly accepting tribe, the Bajo throwing newborn in the deep sea and reascent of the older man in the baby. Literature of Bajau Bajau are widely known as sea gypsies of the Sulu and Celebes seas. The Bajau are scattered along the coastal areas of Tawi-Tawi, Sulu, Basilan, and coastal municipalities of Zambangwa del Sur in the ARMM. They are found living on houseboats, where they make their livelihood solely on the sea as expert fishermen, deep sea divers, and navigators. Unique to their cultural rituals is the concept of life and their relationship to the sea. A newly born infant is thrown into the sea and members of the clan dive to save the newborn. Other traditions such as marriage are prearranged by the parents for their sons and daughters. The process similar to other ethnic groups. In that, a dowry is often presented to the parents of the woman a man wishes to marry and only the Bajau leader can consecrate a marriage. Therefore, a leader is chosen based on individual inherent virtues, wisdom and charisma, and male ability to attract followers. Next is, we have the arts and crafts of Bajau. At Maluso Basilan, the tepo or woven mat symbolizes the craftsmanship and the culture of the Bajaus often used as heirloom passed on from one generation to another. The design of the tepo is also a personal expression of life of the Bajau weaver who made the mat. The Bajaus are an indigenous group living mostly in the Sulu Sea in the southernmost part of the Philippines. Livelihood and Technology of Bajau According to Dexter's World Documentary, Bajaus are an endemic fisher folk who have been using sustainable fishing methods for over 1,500 years. In the past 50 years, however, the Philippines has experienced a surge in population that has severely depleted fish populations, leaving Baja without anything to sustain their livelihood. One of the things that caught my attention as I roam around the area is the young couple with six kids. Bajau people are known to be prolific in terms of population and this proves now because Bajau teenagers are getting married at the early age of 12 to 13 years old.